Hello and hello. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say good morning, but it is not even morning where I'm recording this video. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, that's better. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some of my favorite things that I've picked up. I just got done recording another pickups video, but I wanted to make this one specifically for this haul because I love it that much. It really isn't even that many things. It's literally four items, four items right here, if I can show you guys. Yeah, and if you guys stuck to the end of one of my previous videos, you saw a little sneak peek, which was literally just that. So you just got a little sneak peek before I show you guys. But let's start off with um, something that I love and I literally got for a steal and I don't know why I love it. I've been loving yellow for, um, I don't know, just recently, even though I haven't really been wearing yellow, but for some reason I've been enjoying finding yellow things. But um, all of this stuff is uh, not for sale, so don't ask. And if it is for sale, it'll probably be for sale like years and years down the road. Okay, that's a lie. There's one thing here that is for sale, but it's only because I don't fit it. It does not fit me. I'm um, sorry, that's better phrasing. But go ahead to start off. We have this 60s or 70s. Alaska Raglan crew neck. Just look at that, Alaska. I've never been to Alaska. It is on the bucket list. I think Bethany and I would really love Alaska. And um, one of our old neighbors told us that we would love Alaska too. So maybe we should just go and check it out. And maybe this is a sign saying, go to Alaska. <laughs> but yeah, just love the golden yellow. Love the overlock stitching. You guys can kind of see the pilling here. And I bought this online and I don't know if you guys are like me, but it's just a nice little surprise to find out that the garment that you bought thinking it was, I don't know, from the 80s and you find out that you get it and it's older. So yeah, we have this Alaska crew neck yet again. I love it. It fits me. I did have to stretch it out a little bit, but it fits me pretty uh, comfortably now because I stretched it. If you guys want to know how to stretch things, let me know. I'll, I'll just tell you. I probably won't even make a video about it. You guys can literally just YouTube it and everybody will tell you how to do it. Um, but then these next three pieces here are near and dear to me just because they're all from the Philippines. So long story short, somebody reached out to my vintage page, uh, their vintage page. His name is Daryl. Okay. His name is Daryl. He lives in the Philippines. Right now he's doing basic training. So he's gone for four months. When you watch this and if you're watching this man, I hope your basic training went well. I hope it's going good for you right now as I'm speaking. And I just want to say thank you. It's so cool to be able to literally talk to somebody across the world and talk vintage with somebody across the world, especially from my homeland, the Philippines. Long story short, you guys know, um, Bethany, I, were, and Landon were supposed to go back to the Philippines to visit my Lola, who sadly passed away literally um, like a week or so after we were supposed to go back in January. So these are just like little momentums. I know it sounds really silly and probably stupid to some of you. Um, I do have a little sentimental value just from this stuff now. Anyways, rant over. Um, it's just crazy that these were all found in the Philippines. Um, and the guy, like I said, but his page is behind vintage. I will tag them right here. Um, check him out, give him a follow, tell him that I sent you and tell him you said hi. So it was just cool to be able to connect with him. Like I said, because he is Filipino, I'm Filipino. And yeah, I don't know. We just had a mutual interest of love for vintage. Anyways, I was saying, let's just get right into the pickups. So this first one is a seventies or eighties, like a uh, raglan or Jersey, what you want to call it? Bummies from Adrian, Michigan. Honestly, that's why I bought this. Literally, how does this end up all the way in the Philippines? It's crazy to me that this t-shirt from Adrian, Michigan from the 70s or the 80s ended up in the Philippines. It does have like this flock, flock type print here, but love this one. I thought the graphic was super cool. It reminded me of uh, Johnny Appleseed for some reason. This one sadly does not fit me. It is a medium and it probably is pretty true to medium, maybe even a little slimmer, so a slim medium. So if you guys want this one, let me know. Yeah, I don't know. This is the only one I'm willing to let go of because it doesn't fit me, sadly. This next one, to be honest, was pretty dirty, but I did get it cleaned up pretty nicely. This one is a 60s University of Montana short sleeve raglan crew neck. Um, super nice. I love the graphic on this one. Just the bear. I mean, come on. That bear looks pretty ferocious, pretty mean. I would not want to run into this bear at the University of Montana. I don't know if you guys can kind of tell, but this is more of like a beige, beige colorway. Um, this one is on the Khalid uh, Sportswear by Collegiate Tag. 
I love this tag. This is a 60s tag, I believe. Um, it is thrashed. Um, these things are pretty thrashed. Honestly, that Bummies is really clean. It almost, almost looks like it was never worn. Love this one. This will go into my rotation and I'm excited to wear these things. Like I said, I've been picking up uh, crew necks like crazy and I haven't even been able to wear them because it's still summer at the time of this recording. Yeah, and then we have I'm super, 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 super excited about this one. It's a 50s Russell. So this is honestly my oldest crew neck. This one will probably never be for sale, to be honest. The tag is thrashed, if you can see, but it is um, a Russell. Yeah, I did some research. It is a High Delta Theta Michigan Fraternity Single V. You guys can see it. Crew neck. This thing is crazy. Right. Honestly, it's thrashed, which I love because it gives it so much character. And I believe um, it looks like this one, it was like they repaired it because, and if you guys can see on the inside here, they were literally using this while painting. Like this one is cool as an inside out hoodie, inside out, not, not a hoodie, inside out sweater. The sleeves totally destroyed. I love that it's like bleached and like painted and torn and tattered. This, I mean, look at that. So you can see the repairing there, but I mean, come on, this thing is so good. I honestly love this one and it fits me so well that I will probably never, ever, 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 ever sell it. Um, and like I said, the fact that this was all the way in the Philippines, like probably in the literal landfill. Thank you for saving this for me. And uh, thank you for sending it all the way from the Philippines to me. I seriously appreciate it. Like I said, guys, check out Daryl's page behind vintage. I've honestly been waiting to wear this. That's that. Um, yeah, this will probably be a short video. So I just, I just, yeah. Do you guys want to see me try it on? Ooh, okay. I'm doing a little try on for you guys. Look at this. Don't mind the fit. Come on now. It's like nice and cropped. Sleeves longer. Look at this. Come on now. How? Oh my gosh. Why is this so good? Why is this so good? Yeah, sweet. This is honestly, oh my gosh. I'm so happy. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning into that video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's pretty short, but anyways, short and sweet and to the point. Sometimes that's just what you got to do. Um, I did blab a lot, so I do apologize for that. But if you guys have been following the channel for long, you guys kind of know I ramble for some reason, like I'm doing right now. So if you guys made it this far, please like and subscribe if you like the content. Thank you so much. Um, we'll see you guys in the next video. I need to get out of the sweater because I'm already sweating. So we'll see you later. Okay. Bye.